I will now show you how to draw a bunch of, uh, or a bouquet of flowers that we normally used in the gun engraving. Um, I've often seen bunches of flowers by some engravers down there. Um, how can I put it? Uh, you find sometimes it, uh, shall we say, doesn't look right. So I'll show you the commercial way we used to do the flowers, and they always seem to look right on some of the guns. It's a certain style. Uh, sometimes if you make them too natural looking, they don't look right. And then if you make them too artificial looking, they do look right. So I'll just give you an idea, and you can always contradict me and say, mine doesn't look right. But that's that's uh, everyone's prerogative, you see. Okay, so what I've done now is I'm doing an oval. Just a, uh, an oval shape, egg shape. And I've more or less started in the centre. I'm going to put a rose in the centre, so it's a circle in the centre. And each one of these are going to be flowers we used to call them forget-me-nots but they're rather large pin roses or any big flower like that so i'm drawing it large so that you can see what i'm talking about so we do them fairly small so i've done equally you see i put a circle this side circle that side that's four up there and half a flower there just as to show you okay so I'm going to do a rose. So I, I've done the centre of the rose, just a rough circle here, just to give an idea where we're going to start. And then another circle around the side. That, that's the way I would have just done it. So now, to make a rose, I'm going to start in the centre here. Not going to be a perfect rose, of course. But I'm just going to swivel it out like the, the petal would go. So I've done an S. See my S shape again? Which is the typical shapes we use. So I'm going to put another overlap of the petal there. So this is the base of the, and you know, this is the where it starts as a bud and then it actually starts to fold out. So we're going that way, right? So now we're going to go to the right. Right, there is me going in. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to the right. I'm going to do another little one. So I'm just doing it more or less just to give you the idea they're not perfect but they're more like roses than others so i'll start here again so i'll do another petal there we should overlaps like that so the other one's going to come through here and it's going to go round so now you can see here here that's where the circle would have been here right and then here we go again so i do an do another one around here you see like so and then uh, over and over there so that's the inside and you carry on that like starting here again you can put another little one in there and just a little one and it turns up here so now you're getting the cup shape here and that's where the center would be and you could make other little ones here but it's going this is large so we're not going to make it too small. Now, here's the large outer side petal here. You can do any of these as you like. But as I mentioned, sometimes doing uh, a correct one that you see in the garden doesn't always work out right. So I'm doing it in a stylized way. So now we've got this large here you see so that is your center rose you see i'm doing all these little s shapes here again you see that's all it does i always give it a turn and then give it another one back again so it comes back on itself and that's what you do so you get that rhythm going through there now here we are this is what we would say is the five petal as i mentioned this is a large version i'm drawing of this so we're going to split this up to give you the, the the idea of where it goes you could have the petal here so if i was to do it there 
I will do a Y. See? Letter Y. And then I will do that again on that side. See, the Y goes that way, and then it comes this way. So now all, you've already have this. Then we would just curve this here, like this. Now I could make a little indentation like that. You can vary them. So that will be like that, you see. And there we are, my little S shapes. Oh, I can't get away from this. My wife's called Sheila, so I keep on seeing this S, S, S. So here we go. I went a bit off on that petal. That we don't worry too much about. So petals do go. I'll do this one up here for a, another movement. Why? 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 Then I get this one here again. You see, so I, there is the Y. And then I put this one across here. And then I will do this. Right? Right. I'm looking at it from an angle, so am I? Because I'm not right under the. I'm doing it on my laptop, on my um, iPod. Okay. And this is rough underneath. So now we go, I'll do another one quite fast again. And so I'm doing this, you see. And then I've got the other one here. And I could, if I'm not concentrating too much on wanting a five petal. Can I make a five? You can make a six. But a five one seems to balance out nicely. Okay. All right. And uh, now we have the half flower here. This One of the reasons I'm doing it is just to give it a little bit of a change. I don't like this underneath. I've got something rough under here. So now we have the petals coming around here and they touch. You see, we don't leave any awkward spaces as we can because this will be small when you do it in um, that way in the future when it's going to be the same size as a gun. This will be about an inch or so tall. Okay, so here we are. And we go around and we do the other side very similar. But I'm keeping this fairly short at the moment. And so I'm doing the other petal here. And the other petal will come here. And so. So if there's a petal underneath here, see this this is going underneath the rose. The rose is over the top. Okay. So we can do this type of thing. So there's a flower there. See? No, like that. Now, what I do notice is some people just do this and they do a big, no, it's not a flower and it's not a leaf. It's a big shape. That's what they seem to do. So think about it. Would you like somebody coming to the door delivering a beautiful bouquet of flowers that look, all, well, artificial or what is this? Yes, you can get flowers that don't look like flowers. Well, okay, we can put other flowers in there. As I mentioned, this is small, so... We would put maybe a tulip, okay? So like so. It could be a large rose leaf if it wanted to. But you can make it a bud of a rose again, all ready to come out because the delivery or the florist has put some rose buds in. So you could put rose buds in there if you wanted to, like so. So you've got another shape like so. Not a great big, but I don't know what I see sometimes, and I can't really make it out. They go through a process of making these flowers. Of course, they get people liking it, because it's an engraved thing. But what we are trying to do is to make something attractive. So you can look at it, and look at it for years to come and still see some beauty in it, not something that's gone through a process of just, well, I'll put something in there, it's a flower sort of thing. So now, here we go, we can put another one in there. If, as I say, this is going to be 
condensed down to something very small. You could put another little thing here to balance it out, which I will do. I'll put another one of these in again, uh, or as a rose leaf this time, okay? So that's going to be like so. This is going to be empty. I won't do this side, just keeping a little bit more uh, time, you see. It's our time limited. So now this is oval here. Now I could put something like this over the top to keep this here to give you the outline of the oval. So if I did make a leaf, make a pretty leaf if you're going to do it, you see, so it's going to be like that. Okay, now I'll do this again to balance this up. So I could do a variety of bouquets, but I will just do this for the moment. Just to give you how it looks. Now, the other thing that they seem to do is to make a bristle. It's nothing... When we're doing... Or, or the florist is making a bouquet, they put shall we say gypsophila, which is a very fairy breath or angel's breath, the names of these various things, but they're delicates. So they are little fern-like things or something like that. But to make this out, stand out a little bit more, you shade this. So what we would have done is at this stage do a series of fine, not great big, Bristles, just something here to takes this here to throw out these flowers like so. Okay, so you go through this process first. Don't start it out here because it's unless you do it very fine. But this is the area you want to darken here, so that would be fairly fine. In here, you would darken this a little bit. Fine. Okay. It's what. Um, time and again I see a lot of this and it's all spiky, it's like that, it doesn't mean anything it, it's, it should be a little bit of shadow there just to give you this now we will come to the delicateness now I see when people just put one, like a V shape here, fill, fill, fill hard, hard, repetitive, repetitive repetitive it does not appeal to me to you it may do we'll see i'm showing you the technique now i'm going into the gypsophila the ferns the things that are delicate that makes the bouquet so now we're going to put here we're coming this way here and we could put a few little indications of something like that you do it fine it can come up here you could put just put a little knob on there like that. Then you could put a little bit of a swirl out here, about here, something like that. Doesn't matter. But we're going to go around. It's not going to be just plonk, 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 plonk. Origami. It's what the Japanese think of beauty. See, so now we're getting the curves. We can put these things in here. So, as I mentioned, this is going to be condensed down, but it's not very far off this here. But it's all going to be virtually in an artificial line that sets this out. And it's not harsh. You can put a little bit of harsher stuff there, and then you can go in here, and then again here. But we're doing this. Now you start here again, and you'll put another one in here. So you go fine, and it did it. Here, and put little bits in here, and then we're going to go this way, right? Because this thing, and as a fern or something, would have these little lines coming here, and they would do that. You might got a little bit of a head on there, and because it's so small, you won't see it. But of course, you could put little dots in the little round things if it came to it. So here we go again. See, right there, dot, dot. And dot there, dot there, dot there, fine, and a little bit of fine read there. So all you've got to do is with your graver or your thing, just find these little bits here. Find the, see, it's small, and it's delicate. All bouquets, to some extent, have this 
delicacy to them. Flowers that we like are the delicate flowers. See, like so. This is what you can do. You light and dark. Light and heavy. Combined together can make some beautiful things, you see. So that's what we're doing. So here, so this, as I say, can be a bit darker here, and so on. You go around like this, you see. Dot, dot, dot. And uh, I'll give you the uh, the impression of what I see. Right? I'll do it here, and I'll erase it later. What a lot of them do is do that, 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 or or there like that. Then they go on to the next one and do that and that. That doesn't look nice. And then, of course, it's all spiked out here, or like so. Even if you're doing it commercially, because we used to have a limited time to do uh, the guns. So it was a gun engraver. It wasn't a gun uh, embellisher like we are later now. We had limited times for some of these these jobs. And that's where you went to a routine. So now you would shade here into your flowers. Some people would leave these blank. I always used to like putting a little dot in there, so it gave you a little bit of a forget-me-not look about it, you see. So this is pencil drawing fast, but it can should be done in a delicate way, you see. So I'll put this in here, here again. And um, as I say, some of the... Um, videos I can't get through too fast because of this and so this is all shaded here and of course this will be shaded down here and shaded there okay and the same with this here will all be shaded and do this okay it's all done in that way you may put a big one in here and then shade it delicately down here. Not, not a lot of stuff. You wouldn't have a lot of room when it gets very, very small. But that's what you will do. Just shade these areas in here. You don't need to make them saturated to rub a lot of black into the things. Um, so that's what your pl plant w would look like. It hardly needs anything. If you've got a decent cut in there from thin to thick, it will do the job for you. So you don't need to overshade this. Okay, I'll leave it for now. Bye.